हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फोर्स गैलेक्सी होप यू ऑल आर गुड एज इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टोल यू डेट विल डिस्कस नाउ अबाउट द फॉर्मूला फील्ड सो येस टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन द टॉपिक फॉर्मूला फील्ड्स इन सेल्स फोर्स वॉट आर फॉर्मूला फील्ड्स हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट दैम हाउ टू यूज दैम एंड सो लेट्स डिस्कस एवरी थिंग अबाउट फॉर्मूला फील्ड्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट as we know that salesforce is stored data of our organization and a huge data is stored on daily basis now i want to access and understand this data without uh, quickly without performing any calculation and many a times we need to manipulate the values of field stored in salesforce by applying few conditions or filters like now let's understand this with the scenario uh, let's say we are having two numeric field and want to calculate the percentage by using these two numeric field or you can say we are having two date fields and want to calculate difference between both the dates so that i can avoid the manual calculation or you can say we want to convert a field into clickable hyperlink so that we can easily access the record page or that particular record let's take a specific example what if i want the account number to be display on contact record if if it's Uh, account lookup is not null or is not empty what if i want to know how many days are left for an opportunity to close one so for all above scenarios what we'll do we'll create a simple formula field which evaluates a value according to our requirement or according to our condition now summarize all in a simple word formula field is a read only field that is manually we cannot edit it and the value is evaluated from the expression defined by us if we update any field value in the expression then the formula field is updated automatically and we can create formula field on both the objects either it uh, either custom or standard now let's discuss about the formula fields when we are having uh, rela uh, objects related to each other now objects can relate with each other by a relationship now if an object is related to other object then the formula field can reference the fields of those related object for example we are having object 1 with name object 1 and we are having another object with name object 2 now object 1 is having lookup of object 2 on it now if i create formula field on object 1 then it can reference the field of object 2 via lookup let's move to our screen and discuss more about formula fields So now let's create a formula field on contact. As this is also a type of field, so we create a new field by selecting the type of formula. now here we have different return type that is these are the different return type for our formula field value we have checkbox currency date date time number percentage text and time creating this type of field is like creating a normal salesforce field with the data type formula and we need to select result type and provide expression then and yes it is mandatory to select one of the type for now let's select number here are the decimal places now next now this is here we have to write our expression or formula here you can see we have two type of formula it is simple and advanced now let's discuss them Let us see simple formula. In this, we simply have the insert operators, different insert operator that is addition, subtraction, multiply. And here we have merge field. That is, in the select field type, we have to select our object, and then we have according to that object, we have different fields. Now let's see what we have in the advanced formula. 
इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू यूज़ एडवांस फार्मूला एज इट प्रोवाइड्स मोर टूल देन द सिंपल फार्मूला नाउ हेयर वी हैव इंसर्ट फिल्ड बटन दिस ओपन अ मेन्यू डेट अलाउज यू टू सेलेक्ट फील्ड्स टू यूज इन आर फॉर्मूला इंसर्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस मेन्यू ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट्स द करेक्ट सेंटेक्स फॉर एक्सेसिंग द फील्ड्स For now, I have just select the account the account name that is a contact is already having the account lookup, and through that lookup, I have access its name. Now we have function menu. The function menu is where we view and insert our formula functions. In this, the simplest formula is today function is today, which returns the current date value. and in the other function we need to provide or pass the parameters uh, if you remember in my previous step i have selected the return type as number but here i have written the formula account dot name which means it will going to return a text value so i have to change the uh, return type it should be text now here uh, you can see we have the check syntax option once we have written our formula then we can check syntax uh, by using this check syntax button we can ensure that everything is working in order before saving if if our formula have issues then the syntax check alerts with a specific problem now we are done with our formula uh, let's save this next now let's move to the contact record and see how formula field look like let's open one of my record detail page here is my field calc formula uh, as you can see this is read only field uh, we uh, i have no option to edit this if i enter account value yeah this shows me its name and if i create new contact then you will see the formula fields are not visible here they are always visible on the detail page not on the edit page so this is about the formula fields hope you guys enjoy the video and for any queries do let me know in the comment section we'll meet you soon in the next video till then take care goodbye